what would you tell someone who's maybe interested in this uh, practice about getting started with it? I would say, try to structure it yourself first. So, um, start with something you're afraid of, but not too afraid of. Mm. Uh, expose yourself to a little bit of it until you start to feel a little spooked, like you don't want to look at it anymore. And then have some running shoes nearby or some boxing gloves nearby and a punching bag or whatever it takes. Um, and go uh, dispel that energy and then see how it, it feels. There, there isn't a, a, an immediate satisfaction that comes from it. It's something that, that happens slowly over time when you start to realize as you go back to re-expose yourself that it's just not working. Mm -hmm. um, and if you can structure it yourself and you can keep it in, in control um, and not send yourself into states of real panic that are destabilizing, then I say, you can do it, you can do it yourself. Um, but a lot of times, but yeah, yeah. If, if you cannot do that and a lot of people can't, and that's, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, then it helps to have a professional who can help structure it for you and keep you accountable and have someone to answer questions and sort of the, the scary or unknown parts of doing this, but there's no, it's not a, um, it's not an inherently extremely risky thing that requires a professional to face your fears mm -hmm. you know it's just uh if you let your let your internal signals guide you and be willing to push yourself just a bit um a lot of people can do it on their own mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. and can you do you need to do all of the five f's like you did or is it could you do one of them or anything that activates the parasympathetic nervous system mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. it doesn't need to be all five Mm -hmm. um, there are some, some fear, some bundles of nerves will only calm down via certain things that you do. And, and there are strange, um, and kind of beautiful egoic resonances sometimes between the things that will work and that won't work. You'll mm -hmm. be scared of some things that you can, that you can punch down until you're bigger than them. And you'll be scared of some things that you can only run away from, mm -hmm. uh, to feel safe. Mm -hmm. And, and that's just. That's just how it is. Hmm. Is that why you tried to do all five every day for a while? Correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. just Wasn't taking sure any chances. Everything. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm, I'm sort of imagining, um, as you said that, that like, for example, um, I don't know, I, like I, maybe I'm afraid of expressing my anger or there's anger that I have at someone and that that might not resolve until like I was punching and fighting. Is that the kind of thing you're talking about? Sometimes, yeah. I, mm -hmm. I, I, think so, I think the way in which you're wounded and the way in which various forms that the five Fs can take are often linked. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If someone makes you feel very, if someone has made me feel very small, then using a punching bag to get that energy out helps a lot because that helps me to feel like I'm equalizing the size. Mm. Mm. Um, if yeah, I think that's the right. Some, sometimes the only thing that's going to work is sexualizing the anxiety. Mm. And so it turns, you turn it into a kink or, and you make it a tantric practice and you, mm. you get it out that way. Um, sometimes the only thing that works is freezing in place. So you sit Zazen while you're panicking and you just hold it and you just sit with the panic and feel the fullness of it until it dies down. Sometimes it doesn't die down and you just sit for 30 minutes with panic and that's garbage. So I try to always, I always try to always sit at the end of my five S <laughs> just in case. <laughs> but if that's the last thing that'll do it, then. Uh, then you'll get there eventually. But I'd just way rather be be punching and running and and eating and doing all the other stuff first, you know. <laughs> <laughs>